Hello guys. In this video I am going to solve question 1 of exercise 4a. All the parts. Let's begin. Question 1. Simplify each of the following, leaving your answer in index notation where appropriate. Question 1a. So question 1a starts 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 7. We will apply multiplication law of indices. Multiplication law of indices states that add the powers if the base is same. So we will add the powers and simplify. So 2 to the power of 3 will add the power of 7 and it will end up 2 to the power of 10 that is the answer. Question 1b. So this is parenthesis minus 4 power 6 multiplied by parenthesis minus 4 power 5. Same law applies multiplication law of indices and we will add up the powers. So we will take minus 4 that is the base in both the terms and parenthesis and then we will add the powers power 6 and power 5 will be added to power 11. That is the answer. Question 1c. In the question 1c, we have two terms x to uh, x power 8 multiplied by x power 3. By law of multiplication, we will add up the powers to simplify it. So it equals x that is common as a base and we add up powers power 8 plus 3 and that will end up x power 11. That is the answer of question 1c. Question 1d. Okay, in this question we have two terms. 3 y power 2 or y square multiplied by 8 y power 7. So we will apply the same multiplication law of indices and add up the powers. So coefficients multiply with each other. So 3 multiplied by 8 and y we add up the powers of y. y power 2 plus 7. We will end up 24 y power 9. That is the answer of question 1d. Hello guys. This is question 2 of exercise 4a from the mathematics book 3 new syllabus. Let's begin. Question 2. Simplify each of the following, leaving your answer in index notation where appropriate. Question 2a. 5 power 8 divided by 5 power 5. By the law of indices, we subtract the powers if the base is same. Okay, so we will take the base that is common in both terms and then we divide the, we will subtract the powers. So 8 minus 5, that will end up 5 power of 3. That is our answer for the question 2a. Question 2b, parenthesis minus 7 power 11 divided by parenthesis minus 7 power 4. So we will use the same formula for division. First we, we remove the parenthesis and use the power function, power of power law and then we take the common term and subtract the powers. Law of indices, law of indices same base subtract powers. So we take minus 7 that is common as a base and then we will take powers 11 minus power 4 and answer will be minus 7 power 7 that is the answer of question 2b now question 2c question 2c states that 6 x power 7 divided by x power 3 multiplication sorry division law of indices same powers divided by we take 
powers and subtract them. So 6, x is common in both terms. We take their powers, subtract them, 7 minus 3. And the answer will be 6 power x power 4. That is the answer for the question 2c. Question 2d. Question 2d is parenthesis minus 15y power 9. Parenthesis close divided by parenthesis 5 y power 4 parenthesis close. By law of division, we subtract the powers of the same base. So minus 15. So we also this question also have two coefficients. So we will divide them. Minus 15 divided by 5. And we take y as a common term and common base and take their powers and divide, uh, subtract them. So power y power 9 minus y power 4. And we simplify it. 15 divided by 5 ends up minus 3. And y 9 minus 4 becomes y power 5. That is the answer for the question 2D. Hello guys. In this video I am going to solve question 3 all the parts of the exercise 4A from the mathematics book of 3 7th edition. Let's begin. Question 3. Simplify each of the following leaving your answer in index notation where appropriate. Let's begin from question 3a. Question 3a is parenthesis 9 square and parenthesis close and power, power 4. This will be solved or simplified by using law of indices for the power of powers. Power of power law of indices we multiply the powers so we will write it as 9 power 2 multiplied by 4 that will end up 9 power 8 that is the answer for the question 3 question b so parenthesis inside parenthesis h square and power 5 we will use the same multiplication for of the base of the powers as the law of power of power applies. Okay, so it will become h2 multiplied by 5. h power 2 multiplied by 5 and end up as h is equal to 10. That is the answer for the question B. And question 3c. Question 3c is 3 power 14 multiplied by parenthesis 5 square and parenthesis close and power 7 so we will we will use to have two laws first we will use the power of power law to remove the parenthesis and simplify this term then we will use the law of multiplication to simplify both the terms so power of power we multiply the powers it becomes 3 power 14 multiplied by 5 2 multiplied by 7 becomes power 14. So now we have different bases and same power. In case of different base and same power, we multiply the base. 3 multiplied by 5 and we keep the common power. It becomes 15 power of 14. That is the answer for the question 3c. Question 3D. 2 cube multiply by 9 cube. Okay. Now, same rule applies. We have different base and same power. We multiply the base and keep the power. Law of indices. Power is same. Base is different. Multiply base. So, it becomes 2 multiplied by 9 and overall power 3. That will end up with 18 power 18 cube that is the answer for the question 3d okay question 2e question 2e states that parenthesis 2 k power 6 overall power cube first we will use the power of power to simplify this term that becomes 
multiplication of powers so it is 2 cube that is 8 then k 6 multiplied by 3 and it becomes 8 k power 18 that is the answer for question 2 e question 3 f parenthesis inside parenthesis minus 3 x power 6 y power 2 r square parenthesis close and power 4 we will expand this and powers will multiply 3 power 4 x6 multiply by power 4 and y multiply by y power 4 so law of power of power of indices we multiply the powers another thing to note minus 3 power 4 whenever we simplify a term having even power its symbol becomes positive no matter it is negative if the power is odd it must stay the same so it becomes 3 raised to the power of 4 that is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 that becomes 81 and it becomes po positive because of even power then we have x 6 its, its power multiplied by 4 and y square and multiplied by 4 we simplify it we will have 81 x power 24 and y power 8 6 multiplied by 4 is 24 and 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 8 that is the answer for the question 3f thank you guys hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i am going to solve question 4 from the exercise 4a mathematics book 3 7th edition for the o levels let's begin question 4 of exercise 1a simplify each of the following leaving your answer in index notation where appropriate question 1 question 4a so it states 14 power 13 divided by 7 power 13 so here we will introduce new law of indices that is division law of division states that if the powers are same we will divide the base and keep the same power so it becomes 14 divided by 7 overall power 13 that becomes 2 power 13 that is the answer for the question 4a let's go to question 4b in question 4b we have 9 power 5 parenthesis power 4 divided by 3 power 20 in here we will first apply the power of power law of indices to expand the parenthesis and then we will use the then we will convert the 9 to become 3 so that we will have same base so power of power multiply the powers it becomes 9 power 5 multiplied by 4 that becomes 9 power 20 divided by 3 power 20 make the same base so we can make the same base we can write 9 as 3 square like this 3 square power 20 so we will apply the law of power of power to expand this parenthesis and multiply 2 with 20 to make 3 power 40 3 power 40 and now we divide because base is same we divide the powers so it will become 3 power 40 minus 20 and when we simplify it it becomes 3 power 20 that is the answer for the question 4b so here in this question we have applied multiple laws power of power and then we made the same base rewrite the 9 as 3 square again we we use the power of power law of indices to multiply 2 with 20 to make the 3 power 40 and then we applied the law of division that is same base 
and we divide the powers to gain the simplified form of this and this is terms now question 4c question 4c says parenthesis m over 2 power 5 let's simplify it power of power we apply the powers to m numerator and denominator we multiply them so it becomes m power 5 and 2 power 5 we simplify it m power 5 over 32 that is the answer let's go to question 4d okay in question 4d we have parenthesis inside parenthesis 3 over n square and overall power 3 so we expand parenthesis and apply power of power rule of indices power of power indices states that we multiply the powers okay it becomes 3 power 3 or 3 cube and n square we multiply the term powers 2 multiply by 3 simplify it it becomes 27 and n6 question 4e in the question 4e we have parenthesis p power 4 over q and overall power 6 we apply the law of power of power on both numerator and denominator power of power multiply the powers p power 4 multiplied by 6 and q becomes q6 simplify it it becomes p24 and q6 let's go to 4f in question 4f we have parenthesis inside parenthesis minus x over y square power 4 so we simplify it by using law of power and law of power states that we multiply the powers and we also know that by now when power is even and it is applied on the term its, it's sign changes from negative to positive a positive always stay positive so power of power multiply the powers it becomes minus 1 multiply by x over y2 we divided it into two terms okay power applied minus 1 power 4 multiplied by x becomes x4 and y2 multiplied by 4 becomes y2 multiplied by power 4 so 1 multiplied by x4 and y is 8 simplify x4 over y8 that is the answer for the question 4f thank you guys have a good day hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i am going to solve question 5 from the mathematics book of 3 exercise 4a let's begin okay in question 5 simplify each of the following and it has six parts a to f let's begin with 5a 5a h square k multiply by h power 11 k 9 k power 9 okay we simplify it multiply the related variables corresponding variables and use the law of multiplication that states add up the powers multiplication law add power of the same base so it becomes h and we add up the powers 2 and 11 same way we take k and add up the power this is this has power 1 when no power is mentioned it is always 1 so 1 plus 9 and we simplify it it becomes h 13 and k 10 that is the answer for the 5a question 5b okay terms are parenthesis minus m7 and n power 3 or n cube parenthesis close multiplied by 4 m power 11 and n power 9 we use the same thing add up the powers of related terms because we are doing multiplication multiply related terms add powers of the same base so it becomes minus 1 we separate coefficient coefficient multiplied by coefficient it becomes minus 1 multiplied by 4 from here and then we will take m 
and take the powers and add them. 7 and 11. 7 plus 11. And, and we take the power 3, add up with power 9. And we simplify them. So 4 becomes minus 4. M power 7 plus 11 becomes M, M18. And it becomes N12. So we further simplify it. Remove the multiplication signs. So it becomes minus 4. M power 18 and N power 12. That is the answer for the question 5B. Welcome to question 5C. In this question, we have the terms 11, P power 6, Q power 7 multiplied by 2, P power 3 and Q power 10. Same way, we apply the law of multiplication, multiply related terms, question with question, P with P, Q with Q and add up their powers. Law of multiplication corresponding base, bases. So, coefficients 11 multiplied by 2, P6, power 6 and power 3 will be added and Q, power 7 and power 10 will be added. We will simplify it. It becomes 22, P power 9 and Q power 17. And we will remove the multiplication signs and normalize it. It becomes 22 p power 9 q power 17. This is question 5c. Okay guys, now let's go to question 5d. Question 5d, we have the terms h power 9 k power 6 divided by h power 5 and k power 4. Okay, let's begin. So first, divide the rule of division subtract the powers of the same base so h is common we take the term take the powers and subtract k we take the powers and subtract so it becomes h power 9 minus power 5 and k becomes k power 6 minus power 4 so simplify it it becomes h power 4 and k square that is the answer for the question 5d let's move to question 5e Question 5e is 15 m power 8 n power 7 divided by 3 m power 2 and n. So here we have the coefficients also. So we will divide the coefficients and we will apply the division rule of indices that is take the take the term base common base and subtract their powers. Divide coefficient, subtract powers of the same base. So it becomes 15. Oh, it is written in fraction form for the ease. So 15 m8 n7 3 m2n. So division 3 divided 15, it becomes 5. And we take m power 8 and we take the power 2 and divided uh, and subtracted it. Same way n power 7 and it has power 1 so we subtracted power 1 simplify it it becomes 5 m6 and n6 that is the answer for question 5e let's go to part f terms are parenthesis minus 10 x power 5 and y power 6 parenthesis close divided by parenthesis minus 2x y cube parenthesis close so we will do the same thing write in fraction part fraction form and then we will divide the coefficients and subtract the powers of same base okay here we, we uh, here the equation is written in fraction form and now we will divide the coefficient and subtract the powers so 10 divided by 2 these are the both have minus sign so it becomes positive 5 x we take 5 from here we took 1 so subtract 1 y we took 6 from here and 3 from here and subtracted now we simplify it becomes 5 x power 4 and y power 3 this is our answer for the question f thank you guys have a good day hello guys welcome to my channel 
in this video i am going to solve question 6 of the exercise 4a from the book book 3 of mathematics for the o level let's begin okay so we have question 6 simplify each of the following and uh, it has six parts question 6a is a power 2 a square power 3 and multiply by a power 5 so we will expand this and apply the rule of indices power of power it becomes a 2 multiply by 3 and we now simplify it a6 multiply by a5 so here we have same base and we apply the we add up the powers rule of multiplication so it becomes a 6 plus 5 that ends up a 11 that is the answer for the question 6a let's move to question 6b question 6b b, b cube parenthesis power 7 multiplied by b power 4 parenthesis power 5 so we will apply the rule of power of power and we multiply the powers so it becomes b and 3 and 7 hmm, it has some error okay so uh, it must be mistyped so 3 multiply by 6 and then we multiply b power 4 multiply by 4 so keep in mind this is 7 so we multiply 3 multiply by 7 it becomes 21 and this becomes 20 now we will apply the rule of multiplication at the powers so b becomes 21 plus 20 and adds up to b 41 that is the answer for the question 6b thank you guys and let's go to 6c question 6c c6 power 5 divided by minus c power 2 so we expand the parenthesis apply power of power rule and multiply the powers and then we will subtract the pow powers because we are dividing the terms so it becomes c 6 multiplied by 5 and it remains the same and it becomes um, c 30 and i wrote it in fraction form and shift the second term to denominator so it becomes this minus comes here as it is minus 1 so we take the c and subtract the powers it becomes minus c 28 that is the answer for the question 6c 6d okay in question 6d we have parenthesis minus 3d cube and parenthesis close power 2 are square divided by parenthesis 2d and cube so we will expand the parenthesis and apply the powers to the terms as a power of power we multiply the power so it becomes because of square this 3 becomes positive so it becomes square 3 3 cube 3 square and d3 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 cube and d cube we simplify it now after simplification it becomes 9 and this becomes d6 and 2 power 3 becomes 8 and d cube okay now we will divide the related terms and we can also write it in fraction form so fraction form it becomes 9 d power 6 8 d cube okay now we divide 9 is not divisible to 8 so we will keep it as it is and we will subtract the powers of d so it becomes d power 6 minus 3 okay simplify it 9 d cube over 8 that is the answer for question 6 d question 6 e okay we have parenthesis e cube parenthesis close power 5 divided by parenthesis minus 
e square parenthesis close power 4 we apply the power of power rule and expand the parenthesis so it becomes e 3 multiplied by power 5 and then e 2 multiplied by 4 I change the sign because the power is even if the power is even we change the sign negative to positive and positive remains positive okay simplify it e becomes 15 e power 15 and this becomes e power 8 so we have now same terms so we will subtract the powers so it becomes e 15 minus 8 we simplify it it becomes e power 7 that is the answer for 6e let's move to final question 6f in 6f we have parenthesis 4 f power 6 parenthesis close cube divided by parenthesis minus 2 f cube and power cube so we apply the <coughs> steps like we can transform it into fraction form then we will expand the parenthesis and apply the power of power rule and then we divide the coefficients and subtract the power of same base so it becomes fraction form then we expand the parenthesis 4 cube f6 multiplied by 3 and here we have minus 2 cube and f3 multiplied by 3 3 from here and 3 from here so simplify it it becomes 4 cube is 64 and f6 multiplied by 3 becomes f18 this becomes minus 8 because the power is odd we don't change the sign so it becomes f3 multiplied by 3 is equal to f9 now we divide the coefficients and subtract the powers of same base it becomes minus 8 f18 minus 9 so now we simplify it the final answer is minus 8 f power 9 that is the answer for question f6 thank you guys have a good day hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i am going to solve question 7 from the exercise 4a mathematics book 3 7th edition let's begin question 7 simplify each of the following it has four parts a from a to d okay question 7a so we have parenthesis a b square parenthesis close cube multiplied by parenthesis 2 a square b parenthesis close cube these questions involve application of multiple laws of indices so first we will expand the parenthesis and apply power of power rule so it becomes a cube b 2 multiplied by 3 and 8 2 cube becomes 8 a 2 multiplied by 3 and b cube we simplify it so it becomes a 3 b power 6 multiplied by 8 a power 6 b cube now we will multiply the corresponding variables or terms and add up the powers same base add up power so 8 becomes 8 nothing here as a coefficient so 8 remains same a we take 3 and add up 6 it becomes a power 3 plus 6 and same way we take b power 6 and add up power 3 simplify it it becomes 8 a 9 and b 9 that is the answer for the question 7 a let's go to question 7 b question 7 b is c square d square multiplied by parenthesis minus 5 c cube d cube parenthesis close and square so we will apply the same rule first we expand the parenthesis and apply power of power then we multiply the related terms coefficient multiply with this coefficient the here it is 1 and c to c d to d and add up their powers so here is the simplification 
c square d d square this becomes 25 sign change because of square because even power change the minus 2 positive and c power 3 multiplied by power 2 d power 3 multiplied by power 2 okay next we simplify them it becomes c square d square and 25 c6 d6 now we multiply and add up the powers 25 remain 25 and c becomes 2 power 6 and 2 power this is mistyping this is c square so c square plus add power 6 d square add power 6 so simplify now it becomes 25 c8 and d8 that is the answer for the question 7b thank you guys let's go to question 7c question 7c is we have these two terms and we are dividing them first term parenthesis 8 e power 5 f cube and parenthesis close square divided by parenthesis e cube f parenthesis close and cube first we write it in the fraction form so this is the fraction form of this same question so now we will apply the power of power rule to expand the parenthesis so it becomes 8 square e5 multiplied by 2 f3 multiplied by 2 and here we have e3 multiplied by 3 and f cube now we simplify it we have 64 e10 f becomes power 6 e becomes power 9 and f cube now we subtract the related terms e we take e10 minus 9 9 from here 10 from here and we write f6 minus 3 f power 6 minus power 6 from here power 3 from here this is division rule so it becomes 64 multiplied by e and power 10 from here minus power 9 from here multiply by f power 6 from here minus power 3 from here and we now simplify it after simplification we have 64 e f cube that is the answer for the question 7c the all these questions and forthcoming questions involve application of multiple laws of indices let's go to question 7c 7d question 7d is 16 g8 and h power 7 divided by parenthesis minus 2 g cube h square parenthesis close and cube now we write it in fraction form the same question in the fraction form so now we apply the power of power rule to expand this parenthesis so it becomes 16 g power 8 h power 7 over minus 2 parenthesis cube g 3 multiplied by 3 and h 2 or h square multiplied by 3 so simplify it 16 g power 8 h power 7 it becomes minus 8 g power 9 and h power 6 now by the division rules we divide the coefficients subtract the related terms power of related terms where base is same so it becomes minus 2 g we take power 8 from here power 9 from here 8 minus 9 h power 7 from here power 6 from here 7 minus 6 simplify it it becomes minus 2 g minus 1 g minus power 1 and h when no power is indicated we always have power 1 so here we have g minus 1 we simplify it by shifting it to denominator okay it is in fraction form 2 h and g goes as a denominator that is the answer for the question 70 hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i am going to solve question 8 from exercise 4a mathematics book 3 new syllabus of oxford o level 7th edition let's begin exercise 4a question 8 each simplify each of the following a to d it has four options and it involves multiple laws to be applied let's begin question 8a we are given two terms that we have to multiply it 
for simplification. Parenthesis 2 a power square a, a square over b multiplied by parenthesis a over b square and parenthesis close square 2. And let's begin. We will apply the first rule of power of power and multiply the powers of the terms. So this will become 2 a square over b multiply by a square and b 2 multiplied by 2 becomes 4. Okay now we will multiply the same terms and add the powers. So it becomes 2a power 2 from here power 2 from here and add them up and b power 1 and b power 4 add them up. Simplify we will have 2a power 4 and b power 5. That is the answer for the question 8a. Now question 8b. In 8b we have two terms we need to multiply for simplification. So parenthesis c over d square power 3 r cube multiply by parenthesis c cube 2d and square. So same rule applies power of power and we will expand the parenthesis and then we will multiply the related terms. So expansion c cube and this become d6. 2 multiplied by 3 becomes 6. Okay, here we have c cube and multiply by 2, so it becomes c6. And this becomes 2 square becomes 4 and d square. Now we will multiply the corresponding terms. Same base multiplication rule becomes power becomes addited addition. So it becomes c power 3 plus 6. 3 from here, 6 plus here. And here we will have 4 because there is no coefficient. So it, it, it stays 4. No multiplication occurs here. And this d6 multiplied by d square, this becomes d power 6 plus power 2 from here. And now we will simplify. After simplification, this becomes c power 9 and this becomes 4 d power 8. That is the answer for the question 8b. Okay, let's go to question 8c. 8c, we are given parenthesis 3e cube over f square and overall power 4 divided by parenthesis 27e power 9 and f11. Okay, we apply the rule of power of power and expand the parenthesis. So we will have 3 power 4 e 3 multiplied by 4 and f 2 multiplied by 4 and here we have the same fraction. Now we will simplify it. After simplification we will have 3 raised to the power of 4 becomes 81 and e 3 multiplied by 4 becomes e 12. This becomes f 8 and this is the same as we already have. As <coughs> By the fraction division, we will inverse and multiply. So we will inverse this fraction and then multiply. So we will have same term and inverse of this f11 27 e power 9. Now we will multiply related terms and add up the powers. So it will become 81 <coughs> e will take 12 from here and 9 from here and subtract because this is division. Here we will have f11 and subtract from it 8 power of 8 and 27 remains here as a denominator. Now we divide the 81 by 27 we will have 3 and e12 minus 9 we will have e3 and f11 minus 8 we will have f3. So we will have the final answer 3 e cube f cube that is for question 8c. And let's go to question 8 delta. Question D. We are given two terms and we have to divide them to simplify. So we have parenthesis g square over h cube and parenthesis power 6. And we have parenthesis minus 3 g5 over 2 h square parenthesis close and power 3. 
we will apply the rule of power of power to simplify the uh, terms so we will have g2 multiplied by 6 2 from here 6 from here we multiply the powers and same goes here h cube multiplied by 6 and then we will have Navian and we will take minus 3 as coefficient and power cube g5 multiplied by 3 5 from here 3 from here and here we will have 2 cube and h2 from here and multiply the multiply it with cube now we will simplify it so we will have g12 h18 here 3 cube is 27 M minus sign stays because of r power so we will have minus 27 and g15 and here we will have 8 2 cube is 8 and h power 2 multiplied by 3 becomes 6 so we will make a fraction a fraction division so we will inverse it and change the sign to multiplication okay this term remains same and inverse of this or reciprocal of this term and change the sign to multiplication now we will subtract the powers by the multiplication rule, rule of indices so we will have g12 and then this is g15 and don't denominator it becomes minus 15 when we take it from denominator to the to this multiplication so it becomes 8 coefficient and g12 from here and minus 15 from here so same way we will take h power 6 and this becomes negative power so it becomes 6 minus 18 and 27 stays there now we will simplify it so we will have 8 g power minus 3 h power minus 18 over 27 now we will change the minus powers and shift them to denominator to make them positive so it will become minus 8 and 27 and g minus 3 becomes g3 h minus 12 becomes h12 that is all for the question h d this is the final answer thank you guys for watching stay tuned for the question 9 hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i am going to solve question 9 that is advanced question in the exercise 4a from mathematics book 3 new syllabus 7th edition let's begin exercise 1a question 9 simplify each of the following it has four sections let's start question 9a these are the terms we have for question 9a and we have to multiply these terms to simplify so we have 2 x square y overall cube and then we have parenthesis 10 x y cube and parenthesis close square multiplied by parenthesis 5 x y 4 and parenthesis close cube over 4 x y we will apply first rule power of power to expand the parenthesis so we will multiply the powers so we will have here 2 cube 2 x cube 2 multiply by 3 y cube and here we will have 10 square and x square and this will become x cube multiplied by 2 power 2 and multiply by the terms 5 cube x cube y power 4 multiply by cube and 4 x y stays the same now we will simplify it it will become 8 2 cube becomes 8 x 6 x power 6 and y cube 10 square becomes 100 and x square and y 3 multiplied by 2 becomes y power 6 this will become 5 cube 125 x cube and y 4 multiplied by 3 becomes y power 12 and this remains same 4xy now we will multiply the related terms and add their powers and multiply the coefficients so we will have 8 multiplied by 125 this will become 1000 x we take 6 from here 3 from here add them up 6 plus 3 y 3 from here 12 from here this will become 3 plus 12 and we have here 100 plus 4 100 multiplied by 4 becomes 400 and x 
2 from here and 1 from here. This will become x2 plus 1 and y power 6 and plus 1 from here. And we simplify it, we will have 1000 x power 9, y power 15 and 400 x cube and y 7. Now we will apply the Dovian rule. We will subtract the power of same base terms. So we will have 1000 and this is 400. We can divide by 200 and we will have 5 over 2 x9 and subtract 3 from here and we take y15 and minus 7 from here and we simplify. So we will have 5x squared and y8 over 2. This is our final answer for the question 9a. Let's go to question 9b. Question 9b, we have these two terms to multiply. 8x power 8 and y power 4 over parenthesis 2x y cube y square and parenthesis close square multiplied by parenthesis 4x square y square and parenthesis close square and over parenthesis 3xy parenthesis close and square. Now first rule expand the parenthesis and apply the power of power rule. So we will multiply the powers 8 and x8 and y4 this remains same here we will expand 2 power 2 2 square x square y 2 from here 2 from here we will multiply them and same way we will start expanding this one 4 square x square and 2 from here 2 multiplied by 2 same way y square and multiply 2 from here this become 2 multiplied by 2 and we will expand this one 3 square x square and y square simplify so after simplification this remains the same this will become 4 x square and y4 this will become 16 x, x power 4 and y power 4 and this will become 9 x square and y square okay now we will first multiply the related terms okay so we will have 16 multiplied by 8 is equal to 128 and x we take 8 from here 4 from here and we add them up then y 4 from here 4 from here 4 plus 4 and here 4 multiplied by 9 become 36 x square and x square we made them x 2 plus 2 and y power 4 y square we multiply them it becomes y 4 power 4 plus 2 from here and sim let's simplify after simplification, we will have 128x12, y8, 36x4, and then y6. We will apply the division rule, subtract the powers. So we will have, after division, it becomes, divided by 4, it becomes 32, and 36 will become 9. Okay, x, we take 12 from here, minus 4 from here. Then y power 8 from here and minus power 6 from here. After simplification, we will have 32 x power 8 y square over 9. That is the final answer for the question 9b. Let's go to question 9c. Okay, in 9c we will have parenthesis 2 x y square power 5 over 4 x square y and parenthesis close square multiplied by parenthesis x y cube we expand the powers by removing the parenthesis and applying the power of power rule so we will have 2 power 5 x power 5 and 2 square multiplied by 5 becomes 2 multiplied by 5 and over we will expand it and mul multiply the powers by 2 so 4 square x2 multiplied by 2 y square and this remains the same now we simplify after simplification we will have 32 x power 5 y power 10 and this will become 4 x power 4 y square multiplied by x y power 3 now we will multiply these terms to simplify them so it will become 
uh, numerator remain the same and this will become 16 x 4 from here 1 from here add them up y 2 from here 3 from here add them up multiply the term with the same base and add up the powers so now after simplification we will have 32 x power 5 and y power 10 16 x power 5 and y power 6 now we will subtract the related terms where the base is same and divide the coefficients so after division 32 by 16 becomes 2 x would take 5 from here and 5 from here 5 minus 5 okay y 10 from here and minus 6 from here it should be 6 something is wrong here it's supposed to be 6 okay consider it 6 not 5 okay anyways 2 x 5 minus 5 y 10 minus 5 it becomes 2 x power 0 ultimately this will become 1 and y power 5 answer will be 2 y power 5 I think this is 5 not 6 okay now question 9d these are the term this term we need to simplify 4x square y power 4 multiply by 8x4 and y square over parenthesis 4x square y square and parenthesis close square apply the power of power rule expand the parenthesis so we will have this remain same and expand this one 4 square x square multiplied by 2 y square multiplied by 2 it will end up 4 x square this term remain the same and this will become 16 x power 4 and y power 4 let's subtract the related terms where base is same <coughs> sorry multiplication so we simplify this one first so it will become coefficient multiplied by coefficient and x power 2 from here 4 from here add them up y power 4 and 2 add them up and denominator remain the same simplification 32 x power 6 y power 6 and this will be 16 x power 4 y power 4 now we will subtract and we will divide the terms of the same base and subtract the powers so it will become after division of coefficients we will have 2 x 6 from here and minus 4 from here y 6 from here and 4 from here and we will end up 2 x square and y square this is the final answer for the question 9d thank you guys that's all for question 9 and let's go to question 10 hello guys welcome to my channel this is question 10 last question of exercise 4a and it is an advanced question the book of mathematics 3 7th edition let's begin question 10 states that we are given these two terms and they are equal to this term and we need to form a pair of simultaneous equations in a and b and hence find the value of a and b so we will simplify these two terms by dividing them and then we will define two simultaneous equations in the form of a b and so solve for the value of a and b let's begin this question this will be a lengthy question and it will apply lot of indices rules okay begin we are given these two terms in the form of an equation so we will apply the rule power of power to simplify these two terms so we expand and multiply the powers 2 power 4 p 3 multiplied by 4 and q 4 multiplied by 4 and here minus 3 and q 5 multiplied by 2 and we divide 4 q 4 square p 2 multiplied by 2 q square and 9 
this remain the same at till the end we solve these now we will simplify these they become 16 p 12 q 16 over 9 q 10 divided by 16 p 4 q 2 and 9 and rule of fraction we inverse it and then we multiply to simplify these two terms so in the by the rule of fraction division we have inversed it and changed the sign to multiplication now we multiply the terms add the powers and subtract powers when we divide them so first remove the coefficients 9 and this 9 they will terminate 16 and 16 they will terminate each other so we will have the variables now coefficients are eliminated in the next step we will take this p12 q16 multiply by 1 so no change and here q10 what i have done here okay sorry we i have only multiplied these numerator with denominator denominator with denominator a little confused so p12 multiplied by 1 stays same this will also stay the same so here we will bring p4 from here and q10 multiplied by q2 they will add up and becomes q12 okay in the next step we will simplify so now we have p12 from here and 4 from here we subtract then we will have q16 and q12 take 16 from here subtract with 12 so it will have p12 minus 4 and 12 and bring this down downwards it will become sub subtraction so minus 16 so we will end up with p becomes 4 8 because 12 minus 4 and this will become q minus 4 okay now we will take two equations a b is equal to 8 and a minus b is equal to minus 4 and we will solve them for a and b to find the values of a and b okay so a plus b is equal to 8 that will become a 8 minus b this is over equation 1 second equation a minus b is equal to minus 4 and we will now have two simultaneous equations now we will substitute a is equal to 8 minus b into 2 to solve it for b so it will become 8 minus b minus b is equal to minus 4 we sub substituted this value into a okay now we will have 8 minus 2b and minus 4 okay shift 8 here it will become minus 12 and then we will multiply by minus 1 and both sides will become positive and it will solve for b is equal to 6 by dividing 12 by 2 so we have b is equal to 6 and then we will substitute into 1 so we have 8 is equal to a minus b so we will add the power of 6 here we will put the value of b into 1 so it will become a is equal to a minus 6 so it will end up a is equal to 2 therefore a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 6 these are our values for the a and b and these are two equations that we supposed to conclude that is all for the question 10 and this exercise is complete and soon i will make videos for the exercise 4b thank you guys have a good day